It is Predestined 4. How are you guys doing? It has been quite a while since I've been on here. I'm back to do a quick video to encourage someone today, help someone that may feel, you know, um, like the signs of the time is up on you. Yes. <laughs> Meaning you feel like there's no hope, you don't get no release, you don't get no relief. Life is just coming at you all at once. Yes, I'm here to just drop a little encouragement to you today. I hope whatever I say in this video will reach you on a mental level, a spiritual level, and it will feed your spirit. So before I start, yes, I'm going to start with prayer. Yes, I'm going to start doing this with all my videos. That was the main thing I should have been doing before. But I wasn't doing it, so it's a new year, it's a new decade, so I'm going to start all of my inspirational videos with a prayer, okay? So, come on and let's pray together, okay? God, as I come to you right now, humbly as I know how, I ask that you lead, direct, and unction me to speak whatever it is that you have for me to bless somebody, use me, take self away, take doubt away, take fear away. And I pray that whatever I say and do here on this channel and in this video will be done according to your honor and the glory of your name. I thank you for life. I thank you for your breath in my body. I thank you for the activity of my limbs. I pray for each and every person right now that's encountering this video, that they may be blessed. They may feel whole after this video, God. They may have me um, feel touch renewed and um, strengthen Father God I pray to come against the spirit of depression Father God any lack any doubt any fear Lord God I pray that it's removed even now and I ask you to saturate whatever atmosphere whatever setting the person is in that's watching this video Lord God I pray that you will saturate it with your glory with your peace Lord God with your serenity Lord God and I thank you even now for what you're going to do in my life what you're going to do in the viewers life and we're trusting and believing that everything we believe and we ask it's already done in your name Jesus and we're thanking and believing you in Jesus name amen let's go forth all right all right so my topic today is uh yes I got my little notes here so I'm be looking down as per usual so let's jump right into it uh, my tap my topic today is when your setback seems irreversible okay yes I'm ministering to you today, and I'm also going minister to minister to myself. I'm very tongue-tied today and tongue-twisted. I don't know why. But, yes, we come against that. I'm going to speak freely, okay? So, the topic is, when your setback seems irreversible, meaning it seems like there's no way out. It seems like you don't get a break. It seems like um, everything is going not according to your plan. Let me stress on your plan, okay? Um, and the reason why it may seem that way is because you're not supposed to be going, yes, it's good to have a plan for your life and set goals and um, aim for them, reach for them, pursue them. But inevitably, um, it's God's plan. Whatever God has for your life, that's what you should pursue. That's what you should desire. That's who you should seek for the plans of your life or anything pertaining to whatever topic in your life. You should seek God first if you're a believer or not. Okay? So, I'm going to define the word setback. I have here that a setback is a loss of progress, a defeat of plan, or a reverse of good fortune or anything that sets you back, okay? So like I said before, we all have great plans. We all have um, vision boards, and it's good. It's good to, to, to write the vision and make it plain, okay? Jot down your points. Jot down the areas that you need to work on. Jot down the... Um, 
vision for your life, for your business, for your family, for whatever. Jot it down and make it plain. That's your blueprint, right? But when it's all said and done, life has a way of switching things around, throwing different circumstances in your life, and it feels like everything that you have planned, everything that you've been working towards, it seems like the goal is not attainable. It is attainable if you believe and if you leave it in God's hands, okay? So, um, <laughs> the main thing to do here with a setback, when you're feeling all this strain and you're feeling all this pressure like you can't go on and everything is just not going right, this is where your faith comes in, right? And in order for you to, to have faith in anything, Okay, we're talking about faith in God, but let me just make this relatable to you. In order for you to have faith in anything, any person, any relationship, anything, a job, whatever, you first have to trust it, right? You can't have faith in something that you can't trust. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So in order for you to truly walk in faith, you got to truly trust. In order for you to truly believe in something, you're going to trust that it's going to come to fruition. It's going to come to life. It's going to manifest. So your faith and your trust goes hand in hand. Okay? So I have some acronyms for the letters in the word trust that I'm going to speak on as I go forward. Um, so the letter T, the word trust, T-R-U-S-T, the letter T is tell God exactly how you feel during your setback, okay? T is for tell God exactly how you feel during your setback. Now, this is where being real with yourself comes in and being real with God, okay? Um, first, you got to know what your weaknesses are, what's causing you to um, feel despondent, or to feel as though, just, just be real with yourself. A lot of us are not real with ourselves, therefore we can't be real with anybody else because we are living in this mental place of facade in life, trying to um, live for others or to be something for somebody else. You get what I'm saying? So first you gotta be real with yourself and be honest with God and let God know where you stand in your current situation, where your mind is, where your emotion is, and how you're feeling, even if you're angry. Let God know that you're angry because he already know that you're angry, okay? So just be real with yourself and be real with God. And you can look at the scriptures for that. Um, you can look at Job 1 and 20, Job 7 verse 11, Lamentations 2 verse 19, Psalms 116 verse 10, okay? And while you're trusting and telling God how you feel, exactly how you feel in the circumstance and in the setback. You are worshiping God in the midst of the setback, okay? You can't fake it, guys. You got to worship God from in spirit and in truth, with true emotions, and let God know exactly where you are right now, okay? So, let's move on to the letter R. <clears throat> The letter R is refuse to become bitter, okay? All right, let me speak on this one. <sighs> Bitterness somehow, no matter how you try to find your way to thinking great and all of that stuff, somehow if you have not um, totally left a situation in God's hands, you if you have not totally released it at the altar and left it at God's feet, and life's happening and everything is coming at you all at once. What happens now is because of your mental place, because you haven't truly, this is what I said before, you got to be real with yourself. You got to be real with God and have real emotions, right? And while you're doing that, you're leaving it at his feet and worshiping and believing that the setback won't last, okay? Um, so back to R, refuse to become bitter. So while you're doing this, any feelings of bitterness, you counteract that, okay? Any thoughts of bitterness, any feelings of bitterness, because you got to understand this is how life is. Some of these curves ball, curve balls are coming from the enemy, 
and sometimes it's coming from decisions that we ourselves make and sometimes it's coming from God because God wants to see hey are you ready for what you asked me for or are you playing okay so don't become bitter in the process guys um God will not stop loving you when you when you come through a setback God will not um, you know, turn away from you. He's always by your side, leading and directing you if you trust him and believe him. So it goes back to that word trust. Um, the scripture you can look at for this is Job, <coughs> Job 10 and 12. Okay. And while you're trusting, even though you have your own plans, you're believing that God has a plan for your life. And if you believe in this or in such you got to seek God's face for the plan for your life and do not deviate from that and you can check also another scripture is Job 23 14 um God cares about you and every detail of your life every single inch of it even the things that you think he don't see or he don't understand. He created you. He knew this was going to happen before you even thought of it. Okay? So whatever it is you feel like you may be hiding from your creator, <laughs> he already know. You can fool the people around you. You can put up all the facade you want to put up. But God already knows your heart. So why not be real with the person that already know you? Right? God cares about your every detail of life. I already expressed that. God is in control of the things that you don't understand. Just like I said previously. Do not get your mind and your thoughts and your feelings convoluted about something that you don't understand. Because chances are you don't understand it because you cannot control it. Right? You cannot control it because it's not your plan. It's God's plan. It's not for you to understand. That's clear enough. I ain't even going to go any deeper into that. Everything that happens in life, sometimes it's our fault or sometimes it's because of the decisions that we make. But sometimes God will steer us into a different path as well because he ultimately has the plan for our life. And sometimes we don't understand what he got going on. We don't know where he going to put us next. We don't even understand whether we come in going or we got two left feet and one eye. But we just got to trust him. Okay. Um... And God will protect you. When it's all said and done, he's not going to put you in a situation or in a predicament that he's not covering or protecting you, right? So all of this goes hand in hand. If you trust and have faith, when you are placed in this setback and in this situation, you're not alone. He's with you. He knows every detail of your life. And on top of that, He's covering and protecting you. I mean, this is good. Okay, this is real good right here. Okay, so we're going to move on to... Oh, before I go there, I made a point as well. It says, bitterness or happiness is a choice. So whatever you choose to feel each day is really your choice. It's really, it's really up to you. If you choose to walk around here, whatever your dominant thought is... That's who you are. That's what you'll feel. That's why we got to be careful about whatever thoughts we allow to manifest in our mind, whatever thoughts we allow to control our existence, right? Because ultimately, our mind is our highest source of our authority. So whatever we got going on up here, we can't allow it to dominate what's going on out here. But if it's positive things, then we can flow in that manner, okay? Now I'm going to move on to the word, the letter U. Oh my God, my baby. The letter U. Unite with others who help you to focus on God. Okay? So in other words, um, connect with like-minded souls that are at a greater level than you are or that's aspiring to the, the level that you're, you want to be. You know, it goes back to say this, how can two walk if they don't agree, right? So in order for you to really get there, it's good sometimes to fellowship with the right people that's on the same mental level as you, vibrating on the same spiritual frequency. 
and all of that so that these people can, you can hold each other accountable for your spiritual growth, for your, um, for, you know, um, your, your growth in life as far as um, academically, uh, relationship. If, if you marry, try to aspire to, to keep friends with people that have fulfilling, flourishing, healthy marriages. Um, if you're single and you, you are a believer and you desire to be married, connect with the singles that are going through the same process as you are until you meet your, your, your Boaz or your queen or whoever you decide to meet, you know, whoever you're looking for. Um, connect with like-minded souls that can help you to get to the next level. And the scriptures you can associate this with is Job 36, 18 through 24. Job 12, verse 13. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 11. Psalm 69, verse 32. And Philippians 1, verse 19. Now, I'm just dropping these scriptures. I'm not going to read them and go through all of that. This is why I'm telling you the scriptures so you can go look them up on your own. And it will tie into what I'm saying and give you a better understanding from a biblical standpoint. And if you're having a hard time understanding, there are many different versions of the Bible that can break it down in whatever term you need it to be broken down in. Now, we're going to go on to the letter S. Surrender your future to God, okay? Now, when I say this, I say this to, in, the, in the humblest way possible. Like I said before, we can make all the plans we want to make. We can be very analytical and detail oriented and think we got life all figured out. But ultimately, if you don't su surrender your plans to God's plan, it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Okay. So you, you're not the driver of this vehicle, this, this vehicle right here, this life, this temple, you're not the driver of that temple. Okay. Um, so ultimately it's great to have plans. It's great to have a blueprint for your life. This is why I keep saying this. But you got to remember who created you and seek God for the plans he has for your life as well, okay? And surrender your plans to his plans. Meaning, whatever you decide to do, it needs to go through the channel of his validation first before you can go about pursuing it. Okay, so... The scriptures you can look at for that is Job 2, 9 through 10. <laughs> Job, we all up in Job, right? Patience. <laughs> Job 13, verse 15, and Matthew 6, verse 32. And we're on to the last letter, which is T. Trust every detail of your comeback. Uh, right. <laughs> Every setback is only for a greater comeback, okay? So if you don't believe in your comeback during your setback, there will not be a comeback. I don't know if that made sense, but that's all I got to say. You got to believe. Even in your setback, you got to believe that this is trouble don't last always. I'm going to say that. It don't last always. So even in the moments of your downtime, your depressive state, because it's going to happen. This, this is what life is made of. Your emotional state, your state of confusion, your state of doubt, your state of fear. This is where your faith comes in because all those things I just named, if you don't trust God and you don't have faith, you cannot walk in the fruits of the Spirit, right? So all of that goes back to your trust and your faith, right? So in order for you to tap into... Um, the combative states of doubt, fear, depression, confusion, anything that comes back that combats that, you have to walk in faith in order to connect with that. You have to trust God in order to connect with that, okay? So yes, guys, um, yeah, when your setback seems irreversible, ponder on these thoughts. And know that even through, even in the midst of the setback, because it's going to happen. Some of y'all watching this right now are probably sitting there like, girl, how you know? Because I'm going through it too. I don't come up here and speak on something unless it's really ministering to me too. So in, all, in, in the midst of your setback, this is, if you don't take nothing else I say from this video, in the midst of your setback, right? 
trust every detail of your comeback in the hands of Jesus, in the hands of God, okay? Trust and believe. It's not going to last forever, okay? It's not going to last forever. But just stay focused, keep the faith, and trust God, even in the midst of your setback for your comeback. It may seem like the comeback is never going to happen, but if you trust and have faith in the comeback, the um, setback is not going to seem so irreversible. All right, because in, if it's in God's hands, whatever setback you have in is for a purpose. Yes, sounds crazy, but it is. Whatever setback you're having is for a purpose and God is going to reverse that. The thing that seemed to you like it's irreversible, if you believe, it's going to be reversed. If you believe, it's going to turn around for your good. If you trust, it's going to set you to a comeback, a greater comeback that you didn't expect you was going to have because that's how our God works, right? You can't understand, just ponder on it. Think on it for a little bit. Okay, you can't seem to, you can't fathom the works of God. You can't fathom it. You can't try to break it down. You can't try to logic it. You can't try to put it in a box. Because no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to surpass your expectations. God, not even his works, not his works. He's going to surpass your expectations if you believe him. All it takes is for you to believe. It's that simple, right? It's very simple. If you believe in all these crazy things that's going on in the world, why not believe in your creator? Right? So I hope something I said today resonate with your spirit man, with your mind, with your heart. Um, and I pray that you are blessed with something that I said, okay? I pray that you have a great week that's coming up. I pray your week is great. I pray you walk in all the great things that God have for you. I pray you walk in favor and abundance of life, happiness and joy and um, consistency, right? Somebody call it. Consistency and stability. Because in this day and age, you need consistency and stability. A lot of people lack in that. I don't know why, but y'all need to come on here with that. All right? But anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, please, if you want to follow me, you, the only social media outlet I'm on now is Instagram. I go under the same name, which is Predestined4. Do not be afraid to hit the follow button. Do not leave this channel until you hit the little red subscribe button on my channel if you um are pleased with the content or whatever it is that i've said to you today if i've reached you on some level and um you know help you to understand something a little better or just help you to put a smile on your face please hit the subscribe button it's red and it says subscribe all you gotta do is click it okay and after you do that, I have one more favor. Can you please go and <laughs> hit the little notification bell? Yes, hit that bell and you will be notified. You'll be thrown in the VIP section of my channel and you'll be no notified every single time I post a video. You'll be one of the first persons to know Renee has posted a video, okay? Thanks again for watching, and I pray that what I said today blessed you. This was my best. Yes, the name of the, when you watch my little intro, it says rest in Renee's best. Yes, but it's also God's best. Whatever God pours into me, I'll pour it back to you, which is God's best. Renee's best and God's best, okay? God bless you. Have a great one.